We've seen a couple of, of really significant trends on the infrastructure side. One is uh, more cost-effective networks and technologies to enable more cost-effective networks to be built rapidly. Uh, that's always very topical for Africa, where the ARPUs are, are typically some of the lowest in the world. Uh, also, we've seen LTE networks being used by operators like Smile and Neotel for uh, residential broadband access and enterprise broadband access. Um, so that's a really innovative use of the technology that takes advantage of the massive LTE ecosystem for a slightly different uh, application. Well, LTE networks are inherently data dominated, just like, just like most mobile networks in the world today. But LTE really takes that a step further because it's able to deliver that data at a really high efficiency. So whether the network be uh, providing residential or enterprise broadband access or providing traditional mobile access, the key thing is that it's data that's dominant on that network. And of course, therefore, you need the backhaul to be designed with that in mind. This year marks CBNL's 10th year of working in Africa. That's something we're really proud of. And uh, it's been a good year for us. So uh, we've gone from serving operators in 11 countries at the start of the year to now 14 countries. Uh, it's not just about the new operators, though. We've been continuing to work with existing customers, such as the MTN Group. Uh, we're very proud that we're involved in a very large infrastructure upgrade of MTN Nigeria's backhaul network. Uh, that'll keep us very busy for the rest of this year and into next year. And we're excited to be a part of that operator's LTE plans for the future as well.